Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking in. Thank you for your likes, overwhelming comments, positive, negative. They are always welcome. Apart from insults, we don't take insults. Thank you so much, my people, for always coming back to check on me, to support me and everything. I don't take that for granted. Actually, I do appreciate each and every bit of love that you throw at me. So guys, I know I've not been around. So many things have been happening. We are expanding this, our road, um, with all these trailers and tractors, and I don't know how you call them, the caterpillars, all these things. And the lights have been off. In this place, the lights are off. But by the end of the day, we know that the government is trying to help us to expand our community. So this is how it is, guys. It's just so crazy. Let me just show you what is happening around, okay? So because of this activity happening here, guys, that's the reason why we have power cutout. Is it called power cutout? Power cutout. Power cutout. Cut off. Cut off. <laughs> power cutout, yeah. A lot of activities happening in this place. But uh, yeah, we thank God because this is the expansion of our road right inside our own community and we are so thankful because what? of this but because of the trees being pulled down and up like this this is the reason why am carol could not be found or cannot be found meanwhile but meanwhile guys i'll be coming i'll be coming back like i never left so this is what is happening and i continue showing you what is happening over here now guys going back to nyabohanse the place where we get all our niches over here there are issues here that i remember i told you last time we should pray for congrats mom she's not okay she is not fine she's not doing well she is lonely she needs people she needs your prayer she's calling for your prayers guys hey david jr went to interview her and this is what she had to say have you ever felt lonely no Congrats mom feels so sad in this video guys as you can see and she's still insisting that she fell. She is lying according to me. For those who believe her stories, it's okay. You know everyone is always entitled to their own opinion. But as for me, I don't believe in that story. I believe in what I believe in. She's very sad. She's still staying at Maro's place. She's saying how she's not uh, sad that there are people visiting her. Uh, she's naming them Rocio, other friends, and Marwa, but she couldn't mention her husband. She can't say even my husband came to see me. That means he did not come to see her, and that's the way it is. 
The other day the man was spotted walking on the streets of Nyabohanze. Very healthy. <laughs> Guys, that one I leave just to you. But here is a story that David Junior is bringing out saying that they have a fundraising in the church. They're raising money to build and roof their church. In this state, I don't understand why these people, they have a church together. They are serving in the same church and they are behaving like this, the way they are behaving on these streets. Guys, even as we see the man, David Junior's dad, who is supposed to be the elder in that church and the woman who is also a leader in that church. Now they are separated with bandages, not visiting each other. The woman is not going back home and the boy is so sad, even explaining, explaining in this video that, Mom, I miss you so much. Our home is so empty and all these things that he's explaining. Do you think this is a normal situation, the way you people are putting it? No, for me, it's not. This is not a normal situation where a woman will stay out of her home, even if she's sick. She has to stay in her home. She has the son to take care of her. She has the husband. Why is she not staying at home? This is the question that we are still pulling out here. Guys, if you know, you know. Let's move now to the next story. As we are still watching this ex, how do you call it, guys? Excavator, excavator, exta a whatever it is excavator right <laughs> yeah they're really pulling the trees down and pulling some of the farm we had some potatoes and cassavas on the other side and this other side we had some trees it's really pulling out and flattening the whole area and the other tractor behind there is also coming as it's trying to level uh the the ground so that the road can be passable that is what is happening here. So guys, as we also continue with our video, <laughs> I heard people saying that Dimwango is walking in the streets of Monaco very dangerously. Very, very, very dangerously. Maybe, I don't know guys, but this girl is in Monaco, but everything she's talking about is Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaica. Her body is in Monaco, but her heart is in Jamaica. And why is that so? Guys, I don't understand. Maybe you maybe you can analyze to, with me together to understand why she's behaving like this. Let's watch this video and understand what's going on with her. Oh, I'm glad you go. Oh. Wow, guys, this is so beautiful. They made my night. <laughs> my night is well made, honestly. It feels so good. Thank you. Here they'll stop for you to pass. Talk about Ferraris. Hey, gosh. You guys, my guys. Hey. Oh, Bentleys. In Monaco, you'll see it all. You all need to come to Monaco, guys. You'll thank me later. <laughs> hey, those boys, are, those boys and girls, they're still young. They're teenagers. They've made me felt like a superstar. <laughs> Woo. Channel. Thank you so much for always coming back. To so, guys, when I said that D is living dangerously in Monaco, that is what I meant. You see the clip that I just showed you. D Mwango is walking on the roads alone with that camera that evening. As you saw her crossing the roads, there's a van that was following her. It passed her and in front of and it stood in front of her. Guys, that is a very scary thing, especially if it happens to a lady who is walking alone and she can't even speak the language that people speak in that country. That's what I meant, but that's what I meant by she is living there dangerously. I don't know how you guys can see it, but go back, rewind, 
and check it out. And when that van stood there, Dimwango cut off the video and she came back the following day in the morning. What is the meaning of that? Guys, I saw in the comment section people saying that this girl can be easily kidnapped since she is bragging also to everyone, including the taxi drivers. She's bragging and telling them, you know, I've traveled to so and so these places, 41 countries, how many continents and all these things. She's bragging to all these people, telling her that she is the new empress in town that has the money and she's alone. No security at all. What can happen to this girl? For me, I feel like this girl is dangerously living there. She don't know anyone in Monaco. She, you know, if something happens to her, honestly, she can't speak even the language. She can easily be kidnapped. That just the way people are saying it. And the bragging that she's bragging. Don't you see this can be too dangerous, guys? I don't know. Can you let me know that in the comment section? In other news, I saw Marwa taking a shower with these two women in this waterfall in Yabuhanse, I was asking myself, how come Dimwango has never seen this waterfall before? She loves waterfalls from abroad and she has left a waterfall back at home. How can this be possible? Anyway, Mara was busy with his two women. According to the comment section, people are saying that these are Marwa's two wives. Hey, <laughs> guys, remember Marwa said that he has, I mean, he needs how many wives to survive in this world? How many? How many? <laughs> how many times did I ask you? How many? No, I didn't ask how many. How many wives? Yeah. So these are two now, so far. Now, we don't know what to expect. But now, this is what has been happening. I said, mm -mm, let me come out here and share with you this news. Let this news not just pass like that. Mm -mm. Let's get it back there in the comment section and discuss about that one. Analyze, criticize, agree, disagree. Because that is what we always do here. Now, again, I saw our girl, Miss Trudy. You know, her issues, they usually come when she's naked. Usually, usually, we will usually talk about these things when they are naked. But this time, guys, me, I'm not talking about Miss Trudy anymore. At some point, I feel like she's, she's doing all these things sometimes to trigger people's attention. She's looking for some attention and I don't think that this is the right way to do it. Truly, she's good, she's smart, she's classy, she's everything. Yes, we know that. But sometimes when she does things like this, People talk a lot. Some people don't agree with her a lot. And it has been an issue on these streets. So it's a matter of whether we like it or not. This is Miss Trudy for you. For me, let me tell you something. Enough is enough. We've been talking about African values and our tradition and culture and everything. And Dimwango refused completely. In fact, we saw Dimwango was walking also naked the other day going to the beach in Monaco. <laughs> in winter time. Wow. Dimwango, really? Okay. Miss Sudi, on, on the other hand, he's actually enjoying. And uh, in Miami, USA, definitely. But she pulled out this picture. And I just want to share with you some of the comments that people left for her. For me, let me, let me just put it out here so that we can agree, disagree, criticize, you know? analyze it together and understand really what is going on with our girl remember this is our kenyan girl that sometimes we look at when she's out there representing kenyans representing other kenyan girls out there she's young and everything we do understand that she's on the beach yes we do understand that but everything that is opened to the public now is something else it's not that we don't go to the beaches guys most of us, we go to the beaches. We understand how these things are done. But opening the nyash to the public, that is now a different thing. I'm sure we are disagreeing and agreeing on this one. It's okay. Respectively, no problem. Listen, everyone is always entitled to their own opinion. Do you remember when Congress mom was bathing in the river? We talked about it. We said there's no problem with bathing in the river. But now opening the whole nyash... To the public, that is a different situation out here. This is a different story we are talking about. 
do your own things we respect you and stuff but don't open your whole flowers to the whole world so these are some of the comments that people left for her on that post that she had posted i just want us to go through them this one said miss trudy is shooting skin oh you are my brother's wife i feel shy eyeing your images here this other one said don't forget you are married keep wrapper on cover these things for him there are youngsters who look up to you this one now said we we in swahili ukisema moya azinyonye kuzinyonya this one is just not a good one honestly i don't want to translate this for you because it's not a good one it's not a good one it's all about they're talking about bedroom issues okay because this is what when you show people things they see what you are really showing them now this one says i don't understand why married women too i don't understand why we married women too you like to expose yourself to the public but not for your husband what is this about but we don't know if she's exposing herself to the husband as well <laughs> eh you can be exposing everything to the world but your husband you are denying him even a touch you never know this one said i better leave and stop staring at people's wives like this this is a man that said i don't want to be staring at people's wives this one says trudy And guys these are not Kenyans just like Kenyans these are some Africans even living in diaspora the people who still have those you know uh values that they you know, I can't look at a, a, a man's wife you understand it's a different thing this one said truly watching live from Nairobi Kenya but that dress is not there stop showing your body keep it for Maya for heavenly sake this one says Trudy, I am your fan. I have been watching your videos for years. I'm very happy for your marriage with Wodemaya. Your photos here have made mixed reactions. Negative and positive comments on the post all hide deep love for your viewers. I bet you consulted your husband before posting these photos. If you didn't, please a word of advice from an elderly viewer, don't do it without his blessings. And then the story went on and went on. too many stories guys if she is enjoying herself this one says like this with her husband no problem but let us not see it because she is married if she is single i would like to see more than this i would like to see the hair and the hole under the hair hey guys people want to see your hair and the hole under your hair and these are men writing down there and they're also married men that writing all these things they're saying if you're single it's a different thing but you are married <laughs> hey, hey i would like to see the hair and the hole behind the hair ha! that one was too much for me believe me guys this one says you are married you need to cover your body another one says truly this is not funny please respect your body husband father god the creator and your marriage looks very weird please sis let seeking for views for boundary let seeking for views have boundary seeking for views <laughs> it has boundaries guys this one says there is something about an african woman being attractive when she covers her body you look good though and if your husband is okay with it fuck everybody else that isn't now it's nothing to you another one says but i want to assure you you will regret in future how can a beautiful african woman will expose herself another one says the comments were too many guys that people were writing okay this all these comments i'm reading are very very positive comments towards trudy i'm telling you true story negative not negative positive ones are you sending code messages to your husband to your second husband to join you in Miami or is he already there after the departure of the youtuber husband in Ghana guys i got lost so they're saying that miss trudy has a youtuber husband who's from Ghana and now sending some code messages to the second husband that is oh guys no 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 let's continue reading 
Who are you trying to impress or communicating about your body? What a shame. We Africans, if we know that we are married, we don't expose ourselves as just did on our video. Unless you are communicating that you are ready to try something new, your man left you in Miami as you wanted us to believe. Despite the fact that you want to stay in Miami and you're the only one that knows why you don't follow him back to Ghana after over 100 days away from home. This one said, Hey guys, people are writing too many messages. I'm a fan of both Maya and Trudy and admire their journey as YouTubers and young married couple. Honestly, I wasn't expecting to see Trudy trying to behave like a Westerner. I think you've said enough and I wouldn't say anything else. Hope the honors, she honors her marriage with dignity and respect, especially for herself. This one says, I'm also a fan of both and I have always defended them to the core but this is shaming these messages were being replied to a different comment that was too long and i want to read this comment for you to understand where it was all coming in this person says well future will tell whether you are truly married to our brother Wodemaya or just using him to build your brand so that you will have enough financial strength to support your sugar daddy and sugar baby in Kenya. Hey, guys, this one is too much. Or somewhere in the Americas, you have plenty of men that live on their look with sweet talk in the Americas, looking for a hardworking woman like you, especially an African lady. And unfortunately, you just fall into that category. I hope... And pray that you will not fall in their trap. Enough words to the wise. Just remember in life that if you cheat on someone who cares about you and try to take advantage of his kindness because of his upbringing, the outcome of the cheating will come out to be exposed one day. In conclusion, if you really believe in the African marriage tradition, you have to respect your husband in anything you do in the public, whether he is around or not. You need to be careful and honor the marriage institution. It's unfortunate that your so-called friends, or if you have truthful friends that are married, they will tell you the truth that it is okay to expose yourself to the beach if your husband is present with you. Sometimes you need to hear truth. You might not like it, but let the truth be said. True shall make you free. <laughs> hey, it might hurt initially, but in the long run, truth shall make you free guys we've had all the truth for all married ladies out there it's okay to be on the beach with your husband to be on the beach with your friends to be on the beach with you know but now when you're pulling it publicly out there and opening all the curtains for us to be seeing your nyosh nyosh and your nyosh nyosh that is a different thing altogether when i saw this picture definitely i knew something was wrong somewhere let me not pick it. Let me just check in the comment section. And these are the comments that I found out there, guys. I don't know. Let's talk about all these things. Criticize together. Analyze together. Agree, disagree. As usual, respectively. Let's do it. And also, remember to subscribe on my channel. If you haven't subscribed, click on the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you'll be among the first people to be notified. And also, check on my store and pick anything that you feel is so good for you click on the store it will take you straight to spread shop pick anything or if you can't pick anything just go there yeah just go there and check it out and let me know if you need something that is more than what is there or less than just check out you know just check out my shop and let me know that at least you went there and you are around and you are checking it out and yeah if i need to do some changes also let me know i mean why not it is our shop by the end of the day right yeah guys let's criticize together analyze together and do all these things together that we usually do here and let's meet on the next one.